Ahem. So here we are, week six, leading up in prep to the ABS Pro 2019 in Ireland. And what a week we had until we got to the end of week, but that's fucking usual these days. Uh, you see me here, knees wraps. Look at those new knee wraps, SPD comp wraps on for this session. That's 320 kilos, fucking smoking, showing. And then we're gonna get me out of the knee wraps. Check this out, fucking. I don't know if you ever, if anybody out there is dealing with fucking claustrophobia. This is what claustrophobia feels like, right? Now I've got fucking two and a half meters of fucking solid elastic wrapped around my knees. My feet are going numb. I've just squatted 320 and we couldn't get them off. Fucking Big Sean comes in out of nowhere. He's like, shit, somebody's feet are going to fucking fall off in a minute. So we're going to have to get these off. I'm sticking that leg out like, Sean, don't watch. Get me out of these. I'm not going to lie. At this point... In my head, I'm like, fuck. Like, we're going to have to cut these off. Couldn't get them out. Couldn't just... We kind of really... We didn't wrap how we normally wrapped for some reason. Uh, and because of the comp wraps, they were just real thick and they had to get a grip of. And we couldn't get them out. And all we now is like, shit, we better get something quick to fucking get them. So I'm fucking like, do you know what? Panic mode sets in here. I look relaxed, but trust me, I ain't. I'm trying to get some blood in my legs again, getting a little slap, and then I'm like, you know what, motherfucker, get the fuck out of the way. I just grab it, I just start pulling. I like literally just panic mode setting. I was like, get me the fuck out of them. My feet were so numb. But then we re wrapped, we wrapped. And do you know what? We smoked 320, and then I jumped here. I went to 800, yes, 800 pounds. First time in the SPD comp wraps, and if you can see by the knee wrap, there's still quite a lot of knee wrap left to go. Uh, we didn't really wind them in that tight, and I'm not, I'm not even playing games either. SPD comp wrap, they took us like 30, 40 seconds each leg to wrap. Like, they, we didn't even wind them in. And you see, there's quite a lot left over because I didn't want to get stuck in them again. Uh, 800 pounds fucking falls and i'm not gonna lie it falls fast i stood it up there and i didn't think i was gonna get it out of the rack but in my head i was like i can't put this down and re like and try unrack it again because it's just gonna take too much out of me i'm stood here i'm feeling confident big tight breath aggressive control normal descent and come out the hole bullet out of a gun and that is so that is 800 pounds that's my first 800 on my road to 880 pounds, which is 400 kilos. And this is what I'm about. You know, group of lads fucking supporting me, spotting me. They don't really know me, but they're there, you know, kind of backing me. They're a new group of lifters that we're kind of lifting with at Viking Strength. And you know what? It's a great environment, and I love being there. I love lifting on their equipment. And just the people surrounding it, environment plays a big, big role. It's like when I'm at Graft House, the environment there and the support there just kind of keeps me pushing and keeps sessions even better than they should be because environment plays such a big role. You just saw a 177.5 single at RPE zero. And then I went for a set of five. It's supposed to be at nine, 160. I'm calling RPE eight here. Literally, they were fast. Uh, that was session one done, so 800 pounds fell. I then had a real nice fast bench single. I could have gone again, but I didn't want to push it. I didn't want to end up overshooting the RPE. Uh, and then I had 160 for a nice set of five, which is supposed to be nine, but I'm calling it eight. We then moved on to deadlifts on the second day. And I explain a little bit more about this when I talk some rubbish in a second. Uh, so after 250 i jumped to 280 and it fucking flies and i earned the right to jump to 300 but this little niggle i've got in my neck clavicle from leg pressing last week it just as you see in a second it just ruins me at the lockout it, i was so happy how this came off the floor and i was moving real well and then as soon as i go to lockout I get this excruciating pain either side of my neck and it ruins my lockout. Mm. Get some big tunes on Java! <laughs> oh, 
my brothers don't dab they just fall asleep but yo here we go so you've just watched me squat 800 800 fucking pounds 363.5 kilos in my new SPD competition knee wraps and holy shit it flew that that ooh, ooh, ooh. it felt fucking unreal like I'm not gonna lie as you've just seen in the footage I stood that up and I was like holy shit I ain't gonna get this out of the rack I don't know if the rack was, I think, because that much weight on the bar, it's really starting to bend. I'm in the middle of it. Basic science, basic physics, it's folding. Uh, and I think it just got caught on the rack a little bit. But I learnt, I learnt from this. What I'm going to have to do from now on, I'm going to have to take little steps on the way back with that kind of weight. Because as soon as I got those little steps going, I was cool. I was cool. It's going to have to be completely different to my raw squat. Where like normally when I'm raw and I'm walking out, I'm literally just one, two, boom, ready to go. Showtime. Smoke show. That's how it fucking is. Uh, but yeah, once I got the little steps going, it was fine. Uh, squats went really fucking well. 800 moved. Uh, that was solid RPA. Uh, I could have definitely fucking hit a triple there. And that's predicting me, uh, obviously 11 weeks time, I'm going to take 880 pounds, which is 400 kilos. But on my RTS calculator, that's predicting me at 394 at the moment. So we got a little bit of work to do to secure... Uh, that 400 kilo obviously as well you can see on the wraps we got a little bit of knee wrap to go and we didn't even really wind those knee wraps in that night we were we were really really gentle with them we were really fucking nice so we got work to go with them and I'm excited for that and then Ben she'll just see my bench 177.5 kilos for Needs to be paused a little bit longer, but super duper fast. Elbows are feeling great. Then I backed off and I hit 160, as you've just seen, for a really fast set of five. Like, that was fucking legit, and I, I was real happy with that. I've mixed them up a little bit. I've taken my lifting shoes off, and I'm going to put my A7 slippers on. Brand new, purchased them at the weekend at the All England. Uh... I'm going to take my lifting shoe off. I was, I don't know, I could feel the floor better. I was gripping better. There was less hip movement. It just felt really, really good without my shoes on. Uh, so I'm going to put the slippers on to bench and see how that goes on. That moved really, really well. Uh, and then, as you'll have just seen, deadlifts yesterday. Uh, last week, if you'll have watched last week's vlog, I hurt either side of my neck here when I was pulling myself uh, oh my god, into the leg press. I had like a pop either side of my neck and it legit fucking... It hurt so much. It, at the time it didn't hurt, it just kind of scared me and then it was kind of aching for days after. And then uh, I noticed it last week when I was deadlifting when I'm kind of literally that last little bit as I'm about to pull my hips in and kind of take my shoulders back. It... Fuck man, jeez, hurts like fuck here. Like you wouldn't even believe Either side of my neck is real painful. Uh, so I worked up. I pulled 280 real quick. But as I get to that lockout, you've seen, I put it down real quick because the pain kicked in. But that moved really fast. And I was like, do you know what? I'm going to go 300 here. So I jumped to 300. And I pulled. And literally, I was like, fuck, this is flying. Literally about to lock it out. The pain kicks in. So I'm like, fuck. And I try to stop pulling my shoulders back. And I just try to fold my hips in. And it just, it made... That 300 like a fucking dog shit rep. And I'm really not happy about that. So then what I did, I pulled back. Uh, and weirdly enough, sumo doesn't hurt as much. I don't know why. Uh, it was really fucking weird. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really hurt as much. So what I did, I pulled it back. And I just hit a few doubles, singles, triples, building from like 120 to like 200 kilo doing sumo. Just kind of like ironing that technique in. Uh, I've spoken to Jim. Uh, I don't know what we're about to do uh, regarding deadlifts and this stupid fucking pain, but I'm just going to stay on track. I'm going to see how uh, tomorrow's session go. I've got really sore elbows today. Like I know this might sound weird, but sometimes when I take a big deep breath in uh, and I breathe out, I can feel my elbow tendonitis. That's some fucked up shit, but I think I found the problem to it. It's coming from my left rear delt, so I'm going to today 
try and kind of like iron that out, get a ball in there, see if we can get rid of that. But tomorrow I'm going to mix my sessions up, so I'm not going to bench more because I don't think my elbows will be okay. Uh, I'm going to safety squat bar and I'm going to deadlift. Uh, just to try and let these elbows recover because right now they don't feel great at all. Like I don't even feel like I could bench anything at the moment. It's like little things getting in and out of my car is genuinely hurting my elbows. Uh, but today's been a good day. I've been up, I've been at work. I'm currently eating some food. I'm eating minced veg. And then I was in the shop. You know when you see someone, you're like, fuck, I want to eat that, man. And there was some cold slaw, so I got some cold slaw, and it's not the macros really that bad. I'm on low carbs today, higher fat, so uh, this fits into my macros for the day, which is really, really good. But I'm really fucking excited because I just picked this up from the post office. Uh, I'm humbled by this. This is incredible. Barbell Brigade, you'll have seen them on Instagram, uh, the fucking crazy gym where everybody's doing mad shit. Just unbelievable facility, it looks like anyway. Uh, they contacted me on Instagram and they asked me if they could send me out some of their clothes. Uh, and obviously I ain't going to turn that down. So they dropped me some of their clothes. Uh, and I can't wait to get this open one of eating my food and actually see what's in there. Like, big shout out to Barbell Brigade for dropping me those. That's like fucking legit. Like, I'm over the moon with that shit. Like, I'm going to be looking fresh for the next few days, G. Don't have to do any washing. Boyos. Mwah. But yeah, today's a good day, eating some food, chilling out, gonna go back to work in a bit. And I'm gonna go back to work. I may even throw a tiny little bit of cardio in and a tiny little bit of mobility because I need to be less fat and I need to be more aesthetically pleasing. But man, I got a lady to impress these days. Uh, but yeah, I'm fucking excited. I really, really am. Today's a good day, training's going well. I just smoked 800, my bench is on track, my deadlift, forget about that shit, got a little injury, so that's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna jam some tunes. I'm gonna go see. I'll show you what's in this bag uh, when I open it up. Yeah, so far, so good. Except from deadlifts, but forget about that shit. We get that. We get that. Ba -boom. Shit, change the track for this. Fuck no. Let's put some up. Big on. We about to fuck. Try to get a shit out of my tooth. Yeah, no, it's a big tune. Do you hear that? Yo. Hey. Clap back. Wanna go back. You don't clap back. You don't go back. So, uh, I just realized as well in the last fucking video of me talking shit, eating food. I don't know, just being me. Uh, I said the word humbled when I was talking about Barbell Brigade bringing, sending me this. I don't think that was the right word. Uh, Oh my god, uh, but I've read it here, so I thought I'd throw it in there. I mean, marketing purpose. purposes. So, what I'm gonna do, Barbell Brigade fucking dropped me this package, clothes. Uh, so, big shout out to Ren and the guys at Barbell Brigade. This is legit. Oh, one sec. Let me make sure her name's Ren, because otherwise, it's gonna be really fucking bad. Uh, I'm sure her name's Ren. Ren, where you, where you at? Let me look, looking on the ground. Where you at, Ren? 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 Oh, uh, yeah. Big shout out to Ren and the guys at Barbell Brigade. Don't do that to me. Big shout out to Ren and the guys at Barbell Brigade uh, for dropping me these. Uh, let's see what's in it. Fucking exciting, man. The packaging, by the way, is really cool. All logoed up. Uh, it says here, dominate humbly. What we do. What we do. Hey, who knows? Maybe one day we'll dominate. We're in the making. We're in the process. We're enjoying the process. Yeah, this is legit, man. So let's see what they got here. Yeah, gee. By the way, double XL some fat. But here's a t-shirt. Double XL t-shirt. Nice barbell brigade logo on there too. Here's another one. Another double XL t-shirt. That's why that's got some big graphics on the back too. Yeah, these are legit G. Dominate humbly, Barbell Brigade. This is fire, man. Face of teeth on the granite. Quality looks really, really good. And what's the last one? Last one, that's fire. You know what? Big shout out to these guys again. Dropping me these. Oh, I was opening this one because I got it stuck on the packaging. Fucking ripped it. 
Yeah, that's legit, man. Dominate humbly, Barbell Brigade. Says here, we are a culture built around the mindset that. Oh, I can't read, I can't speak today. Says, dominate humbly. We are a culture built around the mindset that from hum mili humility. Shit, I can't even read. Humility comes limitless possibility, empowerment of others, and a whole and a whole lot of fun. Barbell Brigade. Shit, that's fire. You know what? I like that. Really, really like that. I'm going to look fresh in them. I'm going to be wearing these for the next few days. Looking fresh. Let's see what's on these two. Let's get these bad boys open. Barbell Brigade says again, dominate humbly, which we're all about. Oh, yeah, G. That's legit. Look at that, dude. Boom. On the back. Dominate humbly, Barbell Brigade. That's a fire t shirt, man. Look there as well. Let me show you. They're like a real nice size, too. I normally wear like. Uh, I'm like a dude who always wears bigger clothes because I'm fat and don't want to be uncomfortable and be people thinking, look at the state of him, he's hideous. Uh, so yeah, I always wear bigger clothes. So that's big shout out. They're real well sized. Uh, for the bigger chunkier dudes, or like the bigger Jack and Tan dudes, they're probably out there too, but unfortunately I ain't one of them. Here's another one, this one looks fresh. So you got here, check this out, can you check this out? Barbell Brigade and like a little square. And then whipping on the back, you got the bigger version. That's cool, man. Yeah, gee, these are some fire clothes. And same again. See, that's a really nice size and too. Big size. Let's see what this last... This last one looks fresh, you know. Looks fresh. Even fresher than the rest. The fucking, the fresh. Let's see what this is about. Oh, I've got the tag stuff. Double XL again. Yeah, look. Oh, that's big. There it says, look. Oh, look at that. It's got the little logo on there. Uh, it's got that address, I think. Los Angeles, California. No! Gee, check that out on the back, gee. Shit, man, they just dropped that out there. Yeah, that's legit. That's cool as fuck, man. Yeah, there's some fire clothes, gee. Yeah, I'm... Shit, man, I'm thankful for that. That's, you know what? Four incredible bits, bits of clothing. You know what? Big shout out to those guys. That's huge, 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 huge. Sending me out the stuff. Uh, I'm real, man. Barbell Brigade, shout out. So I'm out with some fresh gam. Man, don't have to do any washing for four days. What, what, what? I'm out. I'm going to go. Do you know what I'm going to do now? I don't tell anyone. But I'm going to go nap. I'm going to have a nap before I go back to work. Because I'm fucking tired. And I just got really excited over all those clothes. And now I'm really fucking tired about it. So, yeah. I'm going to go hit the hay. I'll see you. I might have a little chat with you on my way to work. But, yeah. If not, I'll see you in tomorrow's session. Ba boom, boom, bang. Yo, 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 yo! It's Thursday, the 5th of June. I think something like that. Just on my way into the gym, it's 10 to 4. But on the way to the gym today, I'm gonna go grab me some new sneakers. Cause fucking, at the moment, I'm rocking a couple of different pairs of Metcons. The limited edition Americas and the white and gold. Uh, and fuck, man, the, everybody giving it the big and the Metcons last for ages and the fuck. So, I'm gonna go buy some vans uh, just from down the road. I think they're on sale too, so that's a bonus. Uh, so I need some new shoes and looking scabby as shit. But I'm on my way into the gym. Uh, I've been at work this morning, but nothing too strenuous. Uh, just chilling. I had a nap this morning too. Uh, meals wise, I had breakfast. Uh, I had a couple of snacks, and that's really it. Uh, sorry, just let this whip out. Uh, yeah, so not eating too much, but. Uh, I'm gonna go in the gym and I'm actually I'm supposed to bench today. I think I mentioned this before. I'm supposed to bench today, but my elbow's been really bad. My elbows are like to the point of where they're hurting. Sometimes when I take a real deep breath in and when I breathe out, I can feel my elbow tendonitis. That's some folks with elbow tendonitis. So uh, I think I'm gonna go in, 
Uh, I'm gonna squat, I'm gonna really concentrate on, by the way, if you can't see it, it's absolutely pissing it down England. Uh, I don't know why, it just started absolutely hammering it down when I got in the car. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go in, I think I'm gonna hit my safety squats uh, and my pause deadlifts just to kind of, because I don't want to go into another bench session and it be shit like last week and me not be able to get the work done. So maybe just get that done and then ice the elbows tonight, give the elbows a little bit more time to recover. Unless after squats elbows are feeling good, then I'll throw the bench in there too. Uh, maybe just a two count pause press but we'll get the work done at some point and we'll make sure that it's quality but yeah i'm gonna go grab me some sneakers some bands just in case anybody needs me to ride a skateboard any point i'm gonna go grab me some new uh skateboarding sneaks look fresh to death but yeah steady away session i'm feeling good i'm feeling motivated to train today feel that on my calendar on rts all my tracking and stuff like that so yeah I'm feeling good, feeling prepared more than anything. Uh, so let's go see what today's session brings.